fathers, we have come into this place to worship you. We acknowledge that you are a God worthy of worship. We give thanks, dear Master, that you have granted to us the privilege of praising your name. We give thanks that you have all, have given us the opportunity to share in the ministry that you set up, Lord and Savior, here to begin. We bring our tithes, we bring our offerings that others may share the joy we possess. For Father, you gave us your guarantee. For you told us to bring our tithes. Yes, Lord. And our offering. Then you said oh, that yes. open, you would open the windows oh, of heaven. Yes. Oh, yes. And who are blessings. Our that we will not have room to receive. Thank you, Jesus. And then, Lord, may we continue to look beyond ourselves to the people who need the gospel oh, yeah. of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. In the spirit of humility, we give joyfully and generously. And so, Lord, once again, let the words of my mouth yes. And the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. We'd like to say peace here to this assembly. We are grateful. God, for those who are listening to us through the airway, way of the radio and, and TV, we are mindful that God is, is such a great God. He has allowed us to use those talents abilities, gifts, yes, Lord. that we may spread the gospel of Jesus Christ yeah. in many different places at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're also sure that there are so many of you out there that are in need of a gift that's more price precious than gold and silver. My Lord. Will last longer and time. Lord. And I want to introduce him to you. We call him Jesus. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. When we get technical, we call him Christ. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> In the Old Testament, they called him Emmanuel. Yeah. Whatever name you call it, make sure you have it. Amen. 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 He's better than anything you can buy in the food store. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our theme for this year is Christian life. An implantation, a translation, a reproduction of the divine. Man. Our scripture from 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a what? New creature. The old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. To all of our visitors, we're grateful to God for you. We pray that. You'll stay with us for these next few moments. We'll be a pleasant one. We are grateful to our ministers Amen. who are becoming more diversified now. They're in many places doing many things in the church. Amen. And we're grateful to God for them. Amen. To our
our chairpersons, along with our ministry of deacons, mothers and deaconess. To these lovely clients, didn't they say? Amen. Amen. It brought us back. You know, we often talk about going back to our roots and and and, and to bring the new generation up on some of the stuff that kept us. That's right. What kept you on? Stable. Stable. We're grateful for that.
became the first black American to be promoted to the rank of Brigadier General. Uh -oh. <laughs> On December the 7th, 1941, the Japanese planes bombed Pearl Harbor, making a decisive day in international affairs. On September the 22nd, 1961, the Interstate Commerce Commission ruled that passengers <coughs> on interstate carriers would be seated without regard to rates and that such carriers could not use segregated terminals. I know. What a significance one day will make. Then on July the 20th, 1969, was the significant day recorded when an American walked on the moon. These days are just a few of the many days that have made a difference in our lives. Think about your life. How one day has made a difference. Yes, sir. How many of you said, oh, I wish I had stayed in bed this day? <laughs> One day. One day. Makes a difference. Yes. Many significant days occurred in Jesus' life. It was a monumental day when Jesus came to Bethlehem. It was a significant day when Jesus was baptized by John. The day Jesus set out for Jerusalem to die for sinful humanity was a meaningful day. Yes, sir. The Friday of the crucifixion has been a day analyzed and discussed through the years. It was a day that uniquely affected Christianity. My Lord, my Lord. Without that day, Christianity would not have been here. My Lord. Oh, aren't you glad for that Friday? I tell you, I tell you, we, we can drape the cross with the black robe. But on the inside, we know Jesus is not there. That's how we wear the cross. A symbol. A victory. victory. We don't put nothing on it. Praise God. Because the Lord is dead. Amen. Huh? Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Somebody said, Reverend, people are going to be hearing you all over the country and you using the word hey. Yes, that's right. <laughs> For those who were sick, they woke up right there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Paul. And various other New Testament writers carefully recorded the account of Jesus' resurrection. For 1 Corinthians 4, 15, 4 tells us, He rose again the third day. Yes, Lord. The third day made a difference. It changed the crucifixion from the bad news of murder well. to the good news of deliverance. Amen. Amen. Huh? Using... The idea of Paul, let us notice the distinct differences the day of resurrection makes. All right. The third day authenticated the resurrection of Jesus Christ as a historical event. My Lord. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. This day removed the resurrection from the realm of philosophical speculation and put it in the realm of historical fact. All right. All right. All right. The third day right. is celebrated every Sunday as a reality. Yes, sir. You Amen. can't make me doubt that. Amen. You may know a lot of things that I know, <laughs> but I am certain All right. that Jesus rose yes. 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 on that third day. Yes. Yes. 
If this day had not happened, there would be no gospel story. Huh? The gospel simply stated is that Christ died for our sins, was buried, and rose again the third day. Not any day. Huh? It was a specific day. He rose the third day. Huh? The first two facts, namely the death and burial, do not complete the story. For people have been dying. Ever since Adam made that mistake in the Garden of Eden. Oh, I should say Adam and Eve. Huh? I don't want to leave you women out. <laughs> Amen. I want you to know it, 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 it was a husband and wife affair <laughs> that got us in trouble. Huh? The resurrection on the third day completes the story. Why? Well,
celebration of Easter is not the only way Christians experience Christ's resurrection. Rather, they experience Christ's living presence every moment of every day. Yes, Lord. He promises to always be with his people.
nobody help you now, but I'll tell you, you can't go too far. I'm glad that story is in there. I tell you. I'm glad that story is in there. We don't talk about that one very much, but, but let me tell you something. When things get rough, I'm glad it's in there. Oh, Lord, I hear you. Oh, yes, Lord. Because I've been by the bedside. My Lord. Of many members who were getting ready to cross over. My Lord. And I've heard them tell me that Reverend I, I finally come to a knowledge of who he is. I hear you now. He don't have too much experience. And most folks that will come and look at him think he's gone somewhere else. I hear you. But you see, it's just that moment. I hear you. That's all you need. That's how come you don't make no decisions about nobody. I hear you now. Huh? Because two Christians don't ever 
don't give up. That's right. Huh? That's right. True Christians don't give up. All right. Now, now, we Christians might, but true Christians won't. You say, is that a difference? Yeah. It is. It is. You see, we Christians haven't grown to that point yet. They talk about maturity. And maturity don't mean that you've grown all the way. That's right. Because life doesn't prepare us for full growth. <coughs> oh, you didn't know that? No, it prepares us for maturity that we learn. But the transition is going to be that extra seminary experience that's going to translate everything you think you know to what you know. <laughs> right. 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 That time, that you see, this whole lot of times we don't understand why God comes and and, and do certain things. But one of these days, one of these days. we're yeah. gonna see clear. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's how come the preacher always say the Lord never makes a mistake. Ah, Lord, I hear even you. when you're burning down, and even when you don't understand the how come life is doing all of these things to you, remember that God never makes a mistake. Just trust Him. Oh, yeah, walk yeah. with God, and I tell you, if you walk with God after a while, there will be no more storm clouds around. There will be no more night. There will always be day. There will be no pain. That you have to endure, but that will be a perpetual joy because I, I believe that on the other side of the journey, I believe that when death moves into the heart and you step on the other side of death, the light walks up like a giant and it closes you with this power, and man becomes transformed from an earthly being to a heavenly being, and he will begin to see something that ain't ever saw before. And and the Lord Jesus will come in all of his dazzling beauty and be the head of the, of the, of the caravan who will start the way to heaven. I don't know where heaven is, but every place where Jesus is, I know heaven is right there. Do I have a you bad. 